My name's James Balm, writer, presenter and history columnist for Cheshire Life magazine. Welcome to our brand new series of Rambles Through History. Throughout my new series, why not join me as I take a ramble through churches and churchyards, villages and places of historical interest. The idea of the brand new series is to give you a virtual tour of the places that we visit in high quality 4K definition. So, Without further ado, let's begin this episode here at St Elphin's Church in Warrington, Cheshire. The gateway we see here today dates from the 18th century and consists of two stone rusticated gate piers surmounted by a cornice and urns. This gateway is Grade 2 listed as are the cobbles and the pavement that leads up to the gateway. Now it's believed that a church stood on this site since at least 650 AD and in 1086 under the orders of William the Conqueror the Doomsday Book was created. A priest was listed in that book here at Warrington. According to tradition, the first church was built here by St Oswald for his good friend Elphin. Elphin remained here as the priest of the church until his death in AD 679. The earliest fabric of the building today is the chancel and crypt believed to survive from the church built here in 1354 by Sir William Lee Butler. Like many churches, St Elphin's was badly damaged by parliamentary forces during the Civil War, leading to the tower being rebuilt in the year of 1696. The church that we see today was extensively renovated between 1859 and 1867 by architects Frederick and Horace Francis. It was during this restoration that the magnificent spire was added to this incredible height of 281 feet, making it the fifth highest parish church in England and the eighth highest spire across England. Now it's here in the churchyard at St Elphin's where we find the grave of the Bottler family and in particular the coat of arms of the Bottlers. It's wonderful to be able to come here and see history dating back over 600 years. But it still remains an important part of the early history and heritage of this town. Once part of Lancashire, Warrington became part of the county of Cheshire through boundary changes made in the year of 1972. Join me again soon as we take another ramble through history to see for ourselves the heritage that is awaiting discovery.